Hi everyone, you're just in time for another great story. Click that subscribe button for more. Fancy Nancy and the Mean Girl by Jane O'Connor, illustrations by Robin Price Glasser and Ted Ennick. This Friday is field day. There are races and a picnic. Almost everyone is excited, but one person is dreading it. That's fancy for hoping field day never comes. That person is me. Ms. Glass hands out her t-shirts. I am not on a team with my friends, but that is not why I dread field day. I prefer the red t-shirt. Prefer means I like it more than mine. But that is not why I dread field day. Here is the reason. I am not a good runner and I am in the relay race. Last year my team lost because of me. I got teased. At recess, Grace is wearing her t-shirt. It is green. Oh no, we're on the same team. Grace can be unkind sometimes. That's fancy for mean. I am in the relay race, Grace tells me. Are you? I nod. All Grace says is, rats, now we'll never win. At home I see the weather report. Maybe it will rain. Then field day will be cancelled. That's fancy for called off. But it's going to be sunny and hot. Rats. Maybe if I practice a lot, I can get faster by Friday. Every afternoon I run for hours. It is no use. I was born with slow legs. On Thursday at recess, I hear Grace say, I'm stuck in the relay race with Nancy. My baby brother runs faster than her. Isn't that unkind? At lunch, I have no appetite. That means I'm not hungry. I don't even finish my cupcake. Field day is tomorrow. I'm going to disgrace myself. That means I'll look like a fool. Lionel is so lucky. He broke his leg two weeks ago. He can't be in any races. Then I get a splendid idea. On the way home, I pretend to trip. Ow! Ow! I say. I think I injured my foot. Injured is fancy for hurt. I limp home. I limp into the dining room. My sister helps me to the table. I tell my parents, I don't think it's wise for me to run in the relay race tomorrow. You'd better write a note. Later, my dad comes into my room. Nancy, is your foot really hurt? He asks. How can you ask me that? I say. My own father doesn't believe me. So my dad says, well, sometimes you limp on one foot and sometimes you limp on the other. All of a sudden, I start sobbing. Sobbing is like weeping, only much more noisy. I am a bad runner and a fibber. I tell my dad about the race and grace. He understands. We talk for a long time. On field day, I am not limping. I wear my team t-shirt. I wear laced trim socks for good luck. I cheer for my team. I am splendid at cheering. Soon it is time for the relay race. I go up to Grace. I do not use any fancy words. I will run as fast as I can, but if we lose, don't say mean stuff. You are a good runner, but you are not a good sport. Grace is speechless. That means she is so surprised she can't say a word. The relay race starts. Grace runs all the way to the cone and then starts back. She is way ahead of the other runners. Grace runs back and taps me. Now I start to run to the cone. I have a big head start. But soon the other runners go past me. I come in last, just like last year. We lose the race. 
I feel so bad. At the picnic, Grace comes over. Uh-oh. But guess what? All she says is, want a cookie? My mom baked them. So I say, merci, and take one. And guess what? My appetite is back. Thanks for joining me today. Check out these links for more great stories. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe.